Hi, my name is Elder, and in this video I want to share with you my review of blogs for Mac. The tool which I believe can give you the freedom to make any type of website design without forcing you to learn code. I have used many web design tools and I am a big fan of Squarespace. But when it comes to creating a specific website I have in my mind, my hands are always reaching for blocks. Do you remember the center picture created using Microsoft Paint? It looks fantastic, but it was made using the simplest of tools. Creations like this prove that the best tool for a job is not the most future-packed one, it is the one you master. And Blocks is a tool like this for me when it comes to building websites. Blocks 3 has a simple user interface with a couple of sidebars and not too many visible options. You create a website structure by stacking blocks and filling these blocks with bricks, which are basically different type of elements in your website, for example, text, images and others. It might seem that there are not too many options, but if you learn what each of these options does, you can produce a truly unique and beautiful website, all without knowing how to code. Blocks is not perfect, nothing is, and probably the biggest problem, the biggest downside of Blocks is that it is only available for Mac, so there is no Windows version of this app. Another disadvantage is the lack of built-in content management system, which would allow you to make quick edits to your website using any web browser. Blocks does support some CMS platforms like Pulse, and others, but these are still too limited compared to feature-rich solutions like WordPress. So if you want to continually update your website without opening Blocks app on your Mac, you should probably look the other way. But if you use a Mac and you don't care about being able to edit your website from a web browser, let me tell you why you might love Blocks. First of all, you don't need to know how to code to make a great website in blocks. And I'm not saying that knowing code is a bad thing, because if you do, you can use it to your advantage. When I'm making a website, I want to concentrate on design and feel of my site, and blocks allows me to do precisely that. I also like that the websites you build in blocks will look great on all devices. Even just out of the box, Blocks 3 produces responsive websites, but if you can spend a bit of time adjusting some small details, you can make your website look amazing on all devices. The third thing I like about Blocks is that it is a native application I can install on my Mac and open anytime. Blocks is very fast and not resource hungry, and I have no trouble using it on my 12 inch MacBook without any hiccups whatsoever. Being a simple tool, Blocks is not very difficult to master. Like with anything, you have to invest time and effort into learning how things work, but after you do, and after you get over the frustration of using a new tool, I am sure you will love and appreciate how intuitive Blocks is. And if you want to speed up your learning process with Blocks, check out Blocks Master which is a project I have created to help people master web design skills with blocks. There is also a great community of blocks users always happy to help each other, so if you need help, there are people to help you. Blocks is just a few years old and it has a phenomenal potential to grow. From what I have learned, the team behind blocks is doing a fantastic job to keep the focus on important stuff like making blocks more capable with each update without overcomplicating its user interface. Last but not least, blocks is not very expensive compared to other web design tools on the market. You can start using it for free and when you are ready to purchase the full version, it has a relatively low price, which you pay once and then you can make as many websites as you want. Set up secure hosting account and every time you build a new website in Blocks, just purchase a new domain and you are good to go, so it's really cheap. Plus, even though there are some excellent third-party extensions, 
You don't need to invest into plugins or stacks because you can build almost any type of website using just core features of blocks. To summarize, there is no perfect web design tool, but if you have a Mac and you want to learn how to build websites without using code, I highly recommend to take a look at blocks. So this was my review of blocks for Mac and if you have any questions please let me know and I will do my best to get back to you and help with anything I can. Thank you for watching this video, goodbye.